Happy midweek, St. Francis in the Field. I am Father Justin. I'm here with our senior warden, Dan Kuckel, who's going to share some news in just a minute. But I'm going to hit some highlights because a lot's happened in the last four days. So on Friday, you got last Friday, you got the March calendar. So on February 23rd, when you go check your email, you got the March calendar with all the events, including March birth dates, Holy Week and, service, and Easter services are highlighted in that. So please look for that. If you didn't get it, they will be available. Um, they were available on Sunday. You might have seen them on the welcome table, but they will always be available on Sundays at the welcome table and, and also in the office. Or you can just call us and we can always email another one to you. So just call the church office. On Monday, this is the most exciting thing and the most important thing, Dan, the most important thing, because Dan's done this, is our Realm rollout happened. So a lot of you have been looking for a church directory. You've got to log into Realm. You've got an invitation from Realm that came from the staff to update your information. Once you do that, we have a living directory. And not only that, it has so much more functionality. You can log in and see your giving in real time. Need a giving statement? Click a button. Need to know somebody's phone number? Click a button. It's all there, but it depends on you participating in setting up your profile. No profile, no playing. Nobody will be able to see your phone number or your email and you will set what you want to be public. So it's just like, just like the old picture directories. If people said, don't include me in the directory, guess what? They weren't in the directory. Same principle. It's just online, very secure. And the online giving platform is way more user friendly. And like I said, you can see all of your information in real time and we will be rolling out all the components, which are only going to help us expand our ministry. So be on the lookout for that. But for now, find that invitation if you haven't already done it and log in, update your information. And last but certainly not least, Dan Cuckle from the Vestry, our new senior warden. This is going to be our midweek Vestry update. Dan, so glad to have you as a senior warden. I am glad to be on board. Hello, St. Francis. What an exciting time to be at St. Francis. I want to make sure that you know who the vestry members are right now and especially uh, mention our leadership team. What a wonderful team. Of course, I am the senior warden. We have a junior warden and Cindy Fielding with wonderful experience. We have a treasurer and Emily Dunham and a secretary and Jackie Sommer. What a great team we have. What an exciting time at St. Francis. I am so glad to be a part of this with you and with you, my love to you all. We have a lot going on. And one of the things you can see very tangible behind us, Mary Gatchel painted this mural for our children's ministry. So next time you're in the new youth building, come check this mural out. This to me symbolizes what Dan's talking about. There's a bright future and the vestry's working hard to build on that strategic plan in concert with your clergy team uh, and with the staff and this to me, this mosaic, this beautiful painting is a sign of all that light and life that you bring every Sunday to St. Francis. So look for details about that because you're going to have to participate in our strategic plan as we start to roll it out. We know the church services are full. We love that. The church exists to show people who Jesus is and to bring people into the message of the gospel. And you all do that so well. And I'm thankful for Dan, for the leadership of the vestry, to begin to formalize that work as we look to a bright future that this mosaic and Mary's hard work on this reminds us of. Have a great week and we will see you on Sunday. Dan will be in the choir, I'll be on the altar.